Hello and welcome back to another video everyone. So today's video, the purpose of it is that I'm going to be talking a little bit maybe about uh, my presentation, my photography, when it comes to framing and matting it and uh, presenting the work for exhibitions and galleries and cooperatives. And I'm just going to be showing you basically uh, an older frame piece that, you know, I feel like I do not really bide with anymore and I'm going to be quite simply destroying it and replacing it with something new. Um, and whereas I'm going to be showing you some newer pieces I've created recently that um, I'm much more happy and proud with. So this first one here is um, I made it about a couple years ago at least um, and just it's a image of Woodland Cemetery here in Dayton, Ohio and uh, it has a just basically an overlook and it's the highest point elevation wise in Dayton. Uh, you got the nice you know gated fence, uh, the railing at least, and then you got the skyline in the background. And I shot at a very shallow depth of field where uh, I put the focus points onto the fence and left the whole skyline, you know, kind of blurred and out of focus, but not too much. I think I was at about, probably about F8 or F9 at least with this. And just, yeah, it's it just has a very amateur and uh, very elementary feel with the image, I think, overall. Um, it just makes me feel like it's something that I would take in, like, high school photography class, uh, quite simply, with just... Like, look at how I can use shallow depth of field at least. And so I'm just not too sure about really uh, presenting this in uh, galleries or anything else like that sort. Um, so yeah, I'm not too impressed with the image nowadays. Um, it, you know, it's okay, but it's just, I feel like I could do so much better um, with my photography. And just also with the presentation wise, um, this, this cheap old uh, thrift store frame that, you know, on its own it looks nice, I guess, but uh, it's just not really, it doesn't really fit with the aesthetic, I think, of the image that I printed and wanted to present in this frame. And um, it just has, it just screams the look of an antique frame, at least, um, you know, not really the modern stuff where it's like solid black or, you know, much more cleaner aesthetic, I think. Um, and just also with the matte color choice, uh, just doing this weird kind of like brick red and this creamy white and just also the placement of the double mat um, you know signed put my signature down here at the bottom right hand corner but also just yeah the mats weren't even cut that well at least and uh, just the placement and the emphasis of the mats it just the whole thing just looks really really bad and that's not me the dog on my work but you know it's it, I think we are all our own worst critics of course when it comes to this kind of stuff um, but you know it's it's good I think every now and then to evaluate uh, the work that you do and to um, you know really look at you know what can you improve I guess with it and also if you do print and frame your work such as this you know what can you really you know quite simply do to it to better it I guess and so you know that's basically what I'm going to do here so with that being said I'm going to be uh, showing you uh, sharing three different frames I recently created um, they are all landscape images from Hocking Hill State Park um, I'm very proud uh, with the presentation and uh, hopefully they'll be going to an exhibition soon here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, so let me show you those real quick. So here's the first one. This one is Cantwell Cliffs, um, excuse the glare, but it is a you know, landscape image of one of my favorite places over in Hocking Hills. Uh, these are 22 by 28 frames. Um, they're almost like these uh, poster frames and I spray painted them solid, like a flat uh, matte black um, all the way around. So very minimalist, very clean, um, does not distract. Uh, whereas from the other image, uh, the other frame uh, with the matte color choice and the frame color choice, this just feels like it really just helps pull you into these images. Um, especially since the set of three images are much darker too. Uh, I just feel like it really helps reinforce that point. Um, but like I said, 22 by 28, so they're very on the large end for me uh, when it comes to you know presenting my work. But I feel like that's going to really speak volumes with you know the grandiose, um, I guess, scale or if you will, of these uh, beautiful uh, places in the state park. And then here's one of Cedar Falls. Um, you just got a nice like foreground element in there. It just really pulls you into the background with the waterfall itself. Um, very nice. Um, I do like how these turned out, all three of them at least, and um, I'm excited to exhibit them. Um, these were all printed with Nations Photo Lab, um, not sponsored or endorsed, but definitely recommend them. They did a great job, and they're one of the few print labs I could find that actually printed 22 by 28 as well. Um, so that was very nice because it's a very, I guess, a very specific size for these frames. Uh, but yeah, I recommend spray painting your frames if you don't like the look of it. And this one is Ash Cave, um, just a very nice look at it. Um, this one's very dark, as you can see the shadows, and this is more my fault as the, as the creator, I guess, of the image, but the shadows are very, very dark down there. But I feel like all three of these images really help, you know, just look like a good, cohesive body of work, and um, I'm really happy with how they turned out at least. And so, 
I think it's a good point uh, with just this short little video here is just to talk about, you know, maybe uh, different ways you can, you know, present your work. And um, there's so many different ways and we can make videos upon videos of how to do that. But I think it's important just to, you know, look back at your work and just see it and evaluate. Do you want to, how do you want to present yourself simply? And uh, the best way to do that, I think, and to really look at your photography um, as a whole and say, you know, what do you really want to show the most of? And it's like, like this image here, this first one I showed you, it's like, it's, it's good, but I feel like for me personally, I can do a lot better with it. And uh, that's kind of why I made these other images, these other frames, and I uh, wanted to present them. So I think that with that being said, um, I just want to say thanks so much for watching everyone. Um, let me know in the comments uh, how you feel about this topic, um, if you do frame and print your work, and uh, how you like to present it. Um, you know, and that could be anything from the sizing, to the frame, to the, even like the medium of choice, if you print on like aluminum or canvas or just paper prints traditionally. And uh, yeah, let me know what your process is like and uh, we can start a conversation here. So thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.